Hello and welcome to round three coverage of the Collegiate Disc Golf National Championships held in Rock Hill, South Carolina. My name is Dalton Hastings, representing University of Illinois, and I'm joined by... Evan Bester, representing uh, Illinois State University. Awesome. Love to see it. Thanks for coming out for this one. No problem. It's a pleasure. Funny seeing you guys for a second round here. Yep. Uh, it had to happen. It did. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this course? Yeah, so Westminster Park here is, I would call it the definition of birdie or die. Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit disappointed in seeing this one on the because there were some our harder courses we there could were. have played. There were, there were, but uh, I think it's I think it's definitely it je- definitely an awesome change of pace. Yep, Playing definitely a different. Where than you gotta get birdies. More wooded, more wooded, gorgeous course. Just gorgeous, like very fun one. to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, well, why don't we just get right into it? I love it. Let's go. Awesome. So a little camaraderie again, playing with you guys for a second time. You can see the practice field in the background. Very nice. Getting nice little shout-outs by... Uh, fourth time this season, right? Playing together? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wow, brutal. Doesn't even include singles rounds. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. So hole one here, a little bit different. We did uh, switch up the pairing. So we were on... my Matt and I were on evens yesterday along with uh, Nathan and Collins. So we're on the odds today, and you guys are on evens duty. Mm-hmm. The shot looked good. A little bit into that left to right. You can see the flag blowing down there. Yeah, just kind tricky. of held it over. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It definitely plays a little shorter than it looks just because of how downhill it is. So Colin going zone, I believe. Yeah, his play was backhand in practice, but he he was feeling the forehand because the it was helping with the wind. Yeah, that going scooted best. very nice. Yeah, very easy to go long. Yeah, so Matt trying to do the same thing with the same disc. Just a little bit stiffer. I'm not a huge fan of these stiff zones. I actually gave him this one, and he hasn't been loving it lately. So. <laughs> Taking the heat for it. But just let it go a little early. And, just, and that's just going to fade off. Yeah, a little bit. So I'm going buzz. This is the Halloween buzz. I kind of love it. Yeah, it's a nice disc. Under stable side, right? No Parker? stable. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, maybe I'm just a noodle, but little left. I got the shape right. The, the little sneaky through the through the sneaky. tree. There. Better to be bad sometimes. Missed by a lot. Needs need luck in the game. So Dan, a little bit off right. This is kind of a must get hole. So we were shaking in our boots, but Mr. Trevor stepping up and canning it. Yep. Colin told me he was gonna make it. <laughs> Trevor, when Trevor's on, we are our team is firing also. Heck yeah. yeah! You gotta watch out. Gotta start off hot. I mean, like I said, this is birdie or die. You want to get as close to eighteen under as possible. Hole two is kind of another one of those holes where it's kind of on the easier side. I'm throwing actually the new Kratos here. You were saying nice that you said first, putter. first tournament Kratos, Kratos throw. throw ever. Yeah. You know, from what I heard, they weren't as they weren't beefier than the zone or the Luna. From what? But See, I yours disagree. was from what, way yeah, more from what of a I've thrown and what i've seen they're definitely very overstable you let me throw one it was definitely stable mm-hmm. dan going pig here dan is the pig man he bags four of them holy cow yeah just a little bit early left uh no catch cam on this one unfortunately but i mean the holes are shorter out here so you should be able to see most of them and Trevor, this shot looked really good yeah method he loves this thing and it scooped right over the hill <laughs> just out of sight which is kind of what you want to see nathan, nathan. here oh yeah, what a putt in. what a putt okay. putting's kind of the name of the game here if you aren't parked yeah. Definitely a putting course. I'm wearing the college disc golf shades. So that was nice just getting that, getting the putter going. Warmer day today. Very Agreed. windy, but warmer. This is definitely one of the most picturesque holes on the course. Yeah. Very tricky because it looks so straightforward. Um, it says it plays closer to 300, but we measured it like 350. Yeah. And it's tough because that tree line in the middle, if you're throwing this hyzer, the tree line is farther than the basket. So yes. if you hyzer around it, you'll be deep. Yeah. So you're really very deep. You're really just lining yourself up for a circle's edge putt. Such Unless, a touchy forehand. Throw us a forehand. Do you know what he threw here? I don't. Do you know have you ever heard of a nuke plus? A nuke plus. Yeah. So it's the OG um nuke OS that wasn't as overstable as they wanted, so he threw uh so yeah, there's only like a hun- like a thousand or something made. Oh, I went T bird three. Awesome. I was trying to run it. I just hugged it two inside. What a putt! Yeah, that's a great putt to start know. the round. I mean, that's got to feel good, especially going three for three with that. Feels great. Dan from there cashed it. Definitely one of the best parts of my game. So I like to oh, contribute agreed. as much as I can. It's fun to watch. You also got some distance in there. A little bit here. Yeah. And there. <laughs> so Miles going turn over here. A little two turn. A little bit two turn, but we uh, we gave myself the green light actually to go for something even more. Yeah. To try to snag an eagle. This I mean, it's is not that bad. Par five. Yeah. Just but a little too much hyzer. A little bit too much hyzer. That full flex play is just not. The shape is not quite there. It's a little mm-hmm. that tree line that you ran into is a little shorter than it needs to be. Yeah. Dan going nuke. This was playing into kind of a considerable headwind. It was. I would say. So we were even our good drives were ending up short of where we were landing earlier. Mm-hmm. So it made it the eagle that much harder. Trevor going this um, 
Crute, which is the Castroplast 12404. It does not fly like 12404. That's what you want. Yeah. That's a good shot. It's a great shot. Kind of destroyers mm, adjacent. So now we're tucked behind, right in behind this right bush gap. I was very surprised yeah. to see that. But I mean, so they threw big hyzers over these trees. I only touched something a little bit late, but I mean, it's kind of hard not to hit anything from this hyzer line. Yeah. I was surprised Colin didn't want to throw his forehand here, but I mean that left gap is I so trust him with that big tiny backhand. from that mm -hmm. spot. It was pretty good until it hit that last bit yeah. there. Yeah. So I'm going first just to try to get up there. Kind of try and just rip one. Is that destroyer or DD3? DD3. Okay. On the flip your side, you don't want to be left. You hit that. Line. I kind of I hit Her it. You know, so my dad's perfect. never seen me play disc golf, and this was his first time ever watching me. He comes over and he's like. That was kind of far. And that was like, <laughs> that was the biggest ego shot I have, of adrenaline I've ever gotten in my life. It allows Matt to go even more aggressive with a forehand roller. This tall grass just kind of kills it. Yeah. But great line. I mean, you take that Good shot. Good effort. Yeah. It curled up a little bit into the left side, you can see, which is not ideal, but not bad. You can't really get farther than you. Was, I'm throwing a straighter Athena here. Just this is a tricky shot because it's not a hyzer. It's kind of like that flip up straight. Yep. And it's like you can see got to get that straight finish rather yeah. than high. So that's just outside circle. So I gave Miles a pretty good read. Definitely wanted to put a little bit deeper. Is he going Leopard 3? Um, he's going uh, Destroyer here. Wow. I can, I don't know his bag well enough to comment. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, that's going to sit right in front of mine. So Dan going Berg. It's kind of tricky basket placement. That was close. But from where we were, it looked far. But it was ended up being way closer than... Um, we, we anticipated. So Trevor kind of getting up on the top shelf, which was nice. So they're going, they decided to uh, go through the inside that gap. That little gap? Here. Yeah. Colin That's surprising. Hits the tree. Yeah. Colin was actually the one who decided to take that gap, too. Really? He's the one who hit the tree. That's kind of funny. <laughs> funny to see. Yeah, a little funny. <laughs> Quick tap out by me there. Um, nice tap out by Miles. Tough par. Tough Definitely par. one you want to get. Yeah, after hit, getting perfect through those first three. Yeah. yeah. Hole five is a little bit different. Definitely a forehand. It's a giant flex play if you have it, but I mean, it's so touchy and uphill. It probably takes 700 feet of power. Yeah. So you just want to land exactly where that one landed, and then your upshot will be about 150 feet from there, swinging in a hyzer. Yeah. I'm, that one they said was a little too tucked right, so they wanted me to go a little farther, which is kind of what I ended up doing. Um, again, so call had, dream hole. Yeah. We had Colin go first on this one. Because smart, smart. His, smart. his forehand can just play it safe right in the middle. So far. And that's pretty perfect. It's, yeah. So Nathan's trying to get aggressive here with a big backhand turnover. Can definitely get more distance with the turnover. That was just hugged a bit too inside. And yeah. But, I mean, that's the miss. Mm -hmm. So you still have a play if you kick out a little bit. Um, playing for mine. Uh, Dan going pig again. This upshot is kind of easy. Very easy. Yeah. If you get one in the fairway here, there's no reason you shouldn't be getting a birdie. The hill makes it look like the greenest slope, but it is flat. Mm -hmm. So just kind of going mid-range putter of your choice. This one a little turned over, but... Dan was so close, we kind of wanted him to run it. Um, you guys even closer. Is this a second Kratos sighting? Uh, this is a zone, actually. Oh, okay. My you guys were zone. a little bit left. You wanna... Yeah, I wanted to make sure I swung it in there. Nice shot. And that's underneath the basket. Nice. So, so Miles can do something yep, silly. Give it the run. I love his form. It's so fun to watch. I don't know how well you can see this, but that flashed the chains. It flashed a lot. It flashed the chains. That was really close. Too bad it's muted. You would have heard our reactions. Colin with a nice tap out. Um... I think this definitely so probably played as the easiest hole on the course. Too. I would have to imagine. It was ha yeah. had to be close. Me, this or hole two. This one is kind of a tricky hole. It is. Trevor getting a little lucky. Um, I think he went origin. But, like, you got to pick one of those one of those gaps. And on top of that, you can't have it fade too hard. It's just tough to hit a gap with this little power. Dan going forehand Berg. Okay. Yeah. Which is, like, the perfect disc for this That's shot, great in my shot. opinion. Yeah. So I'm trying to go with this backhand gap off the right side and What'd stuck you know? onto the fingers. That's a D roach. D roach, okay. Yeah. Is that like the D line? Or? Yeah. Okay. Baseline. Yep. Very cool. So Miles doing the opposite of me and just trying to zone it up. Zone in a forehand and that also hits early. Yeah. This is like, I mean, this hole looks easy, but definitely plays trickier than it, it looks. Yeah. Very disappointing. Um, That's good. So you throw in, are most of your putters roaches besides the Kratos? Yeah. So I bag a. a a D roach and then a Z roach for more stable and then the Kratos is my most overstable. Okay. No Lunas? Uh no Lunas. All I, roaches. I used to bag Luna as well and they're they have so much glide. It's so hard to glide. control that distance. Matt, nice tap out there on the pole. Good start from us. I mean we Great got that start. two yep. stroke lead over you. We're not playing against you, but definitely feeling it. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep pedal the metal. This shot looks so good. But into that short. Into that I think it's a dead tail. 
Uh, we were working with, yeah, definitely tail uh, right to left, for sure. So I'm throwing a Firebird thinking that it's getting there, and then it's just kind of, they just fall out of the sky a little bit. Getting to about circle's edge, so. That's still a pretty good shot on this one. It's, it's not bad. pretty deep with that elevated basket, though. You do want to put it close. Going deep on this hole is difficult because you'll, you'll run into branches. Yeah. And turning it over like that right, it's the same thing. So a lot of pressure on Colin for this tee shot. He's just throwing his destroyer, big hyzer, going around. Yeah, this trees. is the play if you have it. It's just and now you can see that right to left, trying to push it back, swinging. What a shot. That's a great shot. Yeah, a little dig, too. If you got a little ground play, maybe it would have been closer. Trevor here just inside the circle, so no step putt, just unfortunately. Off, yeah, definitely tricky. Plays a lot farther with that um, elevated basket. I love the elevated baskets out here, especially at Winthrop as well. Nice. Thank you. So clean. It's Thank fun you. to watch your putt when it's on. It looks... When looks very I putt top level any field. putt, when there's any sort of slant on the ground, mm -hmm. I always switch to a straddle. Really? Yeah, because for I me like that. yes, it gives me is my it that better center of shifting? balance. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. This is a weird hole. It is. Uh, pretty easy shot because it's really just a hyzer, but you have to hang it really inside if you want to get close to the basket. It's another one where it's like, oh, I saw that off, and then it's parked. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You have to be more inside than you think every single time. So, Dan, I think he's going force, actually. Shout out to the Discraft. <laughs> Heck, yeah. He loves his... Um, it's, uh, it's like he throws these for, like, kind of the overstable plays. That and nukes. Um, Trevor going destroyer. It's really easy to flip it up and go far. It is. Which is kind of what Trevor did. And he got that, like, counter skip, which wasn't ideal. So, very nice cleanup there from Nathan. Yep. And you guys are pretty much part I see you right there. Yeah. Very Put nice. Down. Thanks, man. You know, those tappings feel good, especially after that par. It felt good to get that one. This hole is a oh. super sick tunnel shot, pretty much. What um, a compass toss. Yeah, absolutely. This gorgeous. hole is really hard because it's it's kind of a hyzer flip. It is a hyzer flip, straight for sure. rather than just yeah, unless a straight shot. Unless you have a forehand shot. like this. This looks so it right through. good. Oh, my God. That one actually it does tail off. Does right. tail off, yep, yeah, down the hill a little bit. So I'm going back to that buzz. Um, this thing is awesome. I really want to try to get another one of them. Oh, that is pure, Dalton. Yeah, I aimed a little left. Got right the, through the center. Yeah, gap. That was, and that that's was pretty cool. The basket. I kind of aim at trees and hope to miss them. Hope you're bad enough to miss them, and I uh, missed it. So it allows Matt to get aggressive. He actually thrown this flick that he bought like the day before. <laughs> Flicks are not as stable as they think. This was a wild spit out. Yeah, I thought that was in the basket, but kind of just toilet bowls around. Yeah, I mean, that's why but, I have a partner like Miles, yeah, though. I know Miles got my back. It's nice to see. You guys are both very solid putters. It's nice. And then Trevor tapping out, not even marking it. So this one is pretty much just a forehand hyzer. you got to keep it low uh, yeah. and wide, which is not what I did on that one. It happens, man. This is another hole where I feel like we kind of wish the other partner pairs were yes, on. Yes, um, agreed. So, like, having Colin on this one would be nice. But this one got Ooh. a miracle skip. Look at this thing yeah. fly. I mean, that was nice. It definitely got to edge just at the end. So yeah. Dan and Trevor, not typically forehand guys, going forehand. Dan leaving it inside kind of like you a little yep. bit. And then Trevor whipping out the forehand oh my God. and throwing absolute <laughs> dime. Piss missile. With a thunder Beautiful shot. Yeah, almost. That's pure. <laughs> and we're just out here. Great putt by Matt. Very dull. Very good putt. That's another one where it's just like and you got to have. with challengers? Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. He just got some new ones at the Delwood shop, actually. And uh, he was loving them. Putt so, discraft, guys. They go in. They do. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Their plastic feels awesome. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm, like, very yes! sad about with my putters is the plastic kind of feels cheap. This one's tricky. It is, especially for backhands. It has to flip up almost on the hyzer. And get through this very narrow gap. Yeah. This shot looked good. Just a little inside, I think. A little inside, but it does sneak up there mm -hmm. for sure. This, is a, like, this hole in the last hole is something I wish we switched because Matt's not a forehand guy and then throws a money backhand. But he throws a perfect backhand. I thought we were bamboozling you guys because Trevor threw a money forehand and then uh -huh. Matt threw a money backhand on back to back Definitely holes. throws for a loop, yeah. for sure. I bet. So I'm just going, actually, this is a legacy disc in my bag. Uh, it's called the Pursuit. It's kind of like an overstable mid-range. Kind of moved away from my Rosk X3s. Ooh, it nice was. Shot. A little deep. A little deep. But uh, those discs are awesome. Legacy has some great plastic. I suggest checking out. I know you can't, but anyone <laughs> else. This is inside the circle. Um, probably about 25. Quiet, brutal roll. But we told Still Trevor to just run it. it. It's too short to, to not run. And I just kind of threw my head down there at the bottom. Just and I didn't want to make that putt. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And Nordy Nordy Miles. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great putting exhibition by both of us on that one. But, you know, that kind of happens. And uh, it's kind of how you bounce back on this course. These birdie or die course, 
courses are really hard out they here. They are. So now this hole is all about getting sneaky. It's kind of like a baby flex. It is, and that's what an I try to do. But the gap is so small. It's so short for that flex. Mm-hmm. It's almost like an abbreviated flex. Miles going putter. Do you know what he threw here? That's an invader, and yeah. he just decided to get through everything. That's not a lot. It's not a gap. It's not a gap. Yeah. It's but not. he hit it. But he hit it. <laughs> So Dan and Trevor, Trevor was parking this one at practice. Dan having a little trouble. He saw Miles go putter, and I think that made him change, and I didn't love that. I kind of love going mid and just playing the glide. Yeah, that's what I went. I was trying to flex oh. my Buzz OS in there. What's yeah. that from Trevor? It's a method. Okay. That's his favorite mid. I gave him also a beating one for um, the straighter shots, but this is just not, you can't even see this the This is, I mean, it, it would be a, oh. yeah. And that roll didn't help. What is that roll? Just straight backwards, so Matt kind of has to yeah. lay up, which is unfortunate. Again, the way to commit to that putt. I tried. You wanted it. It felt so good out of my head. I gotta yeah. be honest. And then it just hit that branch and just. So if those branches weren't there, it's going in. I mean, <laughs> you can't. Say I it. believe you. If you said it. Yeah, I don't know. It felt good. It definitely felt like it was gonna be within a foot of the basket, but again, just so elevated, it's kind of tricky. This another, hole, man. Another, oh another crazy gap shot. I mean. So now this puts a lot of pressure on Colin. It because does. Because that's in bogey range. It is, and the it, flex forehand definitely plays. This looks so good. It started fading very early. But very early. It kind of stopped at the goal. It did, but it did kind of, yeah. Hit, kind of stuck. It'll give us a putt. For sure. Matt going yeah, the zone, Matt. I got him. This is beautiful. As good as it gets. That is park, folks. Yeah. That's a beautiful shot. Also, that one tree on your camera is not uh, is as advertised as close as it gets. I get through the gap, and then I hit a tree that's out of it, which I didn't know I could hit, which was very sad. Um, you definitely get the satisfaction of drilling a gap, just like drilling that putt. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good you putt. You just need outsides almost like C1 edge, don't you? Yeah, love it. Your routine's very nice. I think that's uh, something that a lot of disc golfers should try harder to do. It's like you have the same routine every time. Every single time. It makes that easier to commit to. I, I really uh, I committed to a routine when I saw you putt. So. Good. So Miles putting this one in also bogey range, so a yeah. lot of stress on me. I'm throwing my flippiest buzz here, just trying to get it to have a late flip, which... That's a money it shot. It does, exactly. You know, you guys really pick each other up with the shots. It's fun to see. Yeah. This is definitely more of a placement par four than a drive it par four. It is. So Trevor going, like, his beat-in method, this, like, exo hard one I gave him, a little straighter. Oh, that's a great got shot nice. Yeah. It, distance means nothing on this hole. Um, it is possible uh, to get a flex yeah. forehand. Yeah. Theoretically. Theoretically, yes. But you'd probably need Colin Thompson on the forehand. Yeah. He got one inside circle two Slide, during practice. Maybe. Did he really? He did. That's wild. That one but then that's exactly what you are talking about earlier with give or take with the pairing. Exactly. And also, to be fair, it's like we kind of know what you guys are going to do without playing you before because our games just line up so well. It's mm-hmm. hilarious. I'm actually throwing a berg out of Dan's bag. <laughs> so kind of a little overturned, but not too bad. Hit a tree late, but on the green, on the dance floor. That's mine. <laughs> Matt also going bird, just a different plastic. Oh, and he is the bird master. He is the bird master, the bird man. Very nice. That's um, a good putt. That's a great putt. And you again. Definitely close, but just trying to keep the putter hot. Definitely keeping it hot. I mean, there's just so much green on these scorecards. It's crazy to think about. So we were kind of playing this into a tail, or was it a head? It was a head. Oh, a head win. It was that's, a head yeah. left to right. So that and thing so never wanted to fight it out. It didn't want to fight out ever. But it stays out of the rough, so it gives us a 50-footer. It plays pretty far. I mean, I know D2 was playing this hole in a tailwind, and I saw a bunch of, like, mid— Oh, I threw a mid-range and parked this 450 hole. <laughs> like, it, it's a different hole when it's played in different It ways. is, 100%. So Matt going forehand crank, putting on the pimp shades. Um, this looks— Really so good. good. This holds a bit too straight. Yeah, but it got that nice little ground play at the end. Allowed me That's to go more job. aggressive. I'm throwing a beat in PD. I threw it hard. I was like, well, why not yeah, rip it? I was between this and a DD3, which I kind of made the right choice in disking down. But I got full That's flight. So good, Dalton. It was <laughs> it's sad. I thought I could throw it into the hill backstop and it stop it, and then I just it just got that like headwind lift. This putt looked so good from where I was standing. It was so ridiculous. So we're putting together a pretty good round here, and this was a pretty important putt to make. Fingers in the air. Bang, bang. Down Never let the hand down. Just <laughs> thanking the crowd. That one felt really good. That's a good one to get, man. That's an awesome putt. It's really cool to see. You guys, when both of us are clicking, it's fun to watch. It is. So this is that same Zia Athena, really par three. Just is trying this to that hit flip this flip one or gap. Is that This is the stable Okay. One. Just trying to hit it flat. If you hit that hyzer gap, it'll skip pretty much right to the basket. Yeah, it'll as long as you're not deep. Time. Yeah. Which, uh, foreshadowing, 
Miles probably trying to go aggressive. Pro yeah, trying to get a little bit more aggressive just puts it a bit too high. This is a tough hole, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a weird shape. You got to throw Annie out of the hand almost or flat like Trevor's doing flip, here. Flip. Just a little early. He kind of gets to that inside gap, but it hits mm -hmm. a tree, ends up like 60 short. Dan going Thunderbird. And it looks good, but he got over on it and got a full straight. flex. Oh, yeah. That so is, skips to about to 70 basket. long, which is where we're putting from right now. Maybe like s closer to 55, a 60. A decent bit. Very good bit by very Matt good there. Um, we should probably cut away from this one. Not very great. Chain high, just right. That headwind got me a little bit. And then Nathan cleaning it up. That's Solid a really good birdie putt. for us. I think we're tied as of right now. Or you might have a stroke on. I don't Maybe. know. It's something. Something close. It's we very, definitely had close. you guys for a close. second there, and now we're uh, we're looking into something else. Nathan, this is a tricky backhand, honestly. It is a very tricky. Backhand. So this is a par four, trying to play it straight, oh, and then a, a ninety degree turn right. Yeah. Into throwing into a massive headwind, which was really tough. So definitely a Colin Thompson tee shot you want to see. That's a good forehand. Yeah. Yeah, not a great ground play. Mm -mm. Mm, unfortunate. So Matt going nuke OS again. You can't really see the gap that you're aiming for though off the tee. You so can't. It definitely makes it a bit. It's a poke and pray one. It Don't is. ask what I'm doing here. Um, I you, did not get to see this. That is so interesting. I did not throw them in practice. Our B team was like caddying us at this point, and they're like, "Yeah, it's kind of a line." And I was like, "Cool." We were just having fun with it. It was about like 40 feet farther than Matt's, but in the open. So we ended up going Matt's just because I think Trevor and Dan thought that that was better. But so from mine, it was like a straight tail. And then from this one, it's kind of a right to left okay. tail. Or right to left head. So Miles and I have to hit this gap, actually. Which is these crazy. Because yeah. the ideal drive gets past it. It does. But like you guys got that Both of those poor ground drives. Yeah, hit the tree. That was a great and shot. And that's a beautiful shot for Miles. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what he threw there? That's his color girl destroyer. Okay. The one so he picked is, up from are his distance drivers just kind of the mystery man? <laughs> that's what we call them. So is it kind of just destroyers and the PD2? Yeah, and then uh -huh. the Enigma for the flippy. Oh, right, right, okay. Yeah. I like how he does that. It's like kind of choosing molds over mm -hmm. breaking and stuff. Really easy to lose this. Dan going Orange Destroyer here. Kind of pumping one out there. Very difficult to land this one close, honestly. It is. but That one looks that so really good, good, but just long. So we're taking Trevor's here, actually. Just an awful putt. It was The wind is howling. I don't know if you can see the flags there, but that tail one got us pretty good. Matt oh, got him, too. Good bid. Yeah. So Nathan and Colin here. Oh, that was a lot That's of That's a dirty spit out. Yeah, a little left, but all inside the basket. And, and ooh. Then, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, that was about 15 those are, 16. Those are just putts you can't, can't yeah. be missing. At college it nationals, it, yeah. it does. It just hurts when it's it there. Hurts. Especially on the 17th. At least it's for, you know, at least it was for birdie and 19 That's true. par. So hole 18, kind of tricky. It is. It's this downhill. It was playing into kind of a left to right wind. Um, Downhill got us pretty good. It did. Admit. That got very clean. That really clean. Kind very of fun sneaky. to watch. It was very fun to watch the flight. It was a miracle flight. Try to go turnover, turned it over a bit too much. <laughs> it was so funny because Miles was like, how was that long? And wow. Matt tur looks to us and he's like, he put his full body into that flight. <laughs> it's like Matt or Miles has a lot of forehand power. Yeah, my, and he gained that power this trip too. So it's, it's just like, hilarious. You know, he ate his wheeze he, he in the Airbnb. He wasn't used to it yet. Trevor just kind of grip locking, you know, it happens. Kind of a shank. I think it's just not a lot of practice on these courses. And but Dan, that's a good shot to was. follow that one up. That was a Missed Halo Rock 3, pretty straight, just kind of fading a little bit early. That oh looks so gosh. good. And that's from the mind drive being yeah. so sneaky up there. I mean, this is deep C2, downhill. It was so fun to watch these from where we were because it was like, Neo. Yeah. It was really fun. It hit even hit Mill. Oh, that felt so good out of my hand. And so I think we're up by one stroke at yeah, this point. Yeah, so that was to tie, tie you and play with you again. Yeah. I guess you're we like, didn't want to like, do nope, it. we didn't want it. We didn't want We, we wanna, didn't want the smoke. We want to play with someone else. Yeah. But, you know, just a couple tap outs here for par. Kind of a disappointing par par streak from both of us at the it end. Is. That was a possible hot round of the day. Yeah, which was crazy because we, we were kind of looking, seeing like, I think 15, 16 yep. to get there. There were a couple 15s. Yeah. I think maybe 116. I think 116. Yeah, so those those schools are NC definitely. NC Charlotte, games, or NC State was, NC State. The, was the 16. 16. Charlotte also no played pars. well. No bars. It was a, it was, was it bogey. It was a bogey. That's why. But I taking bogeys out there is kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, like, just to comment on that is like the, the schools that are around this area who got to practice more definitely helps. I don't know about you guys, but we got one day of practice just trying to cram everything in. Yeah. And we, then go into like the this kind of festivities before uh-huh so but um yeah so a couple thank yous to dish out real quick 
Got to thank Nick Puttycomb for putting everything together. Let us use the Siebel Center, which he works at. Um, thank you, Siebel Center, for art and design. Um, Nick, thanks for editing. Toby and Caleb Martin for editing. I think this one was Toby. No, this one was Nick. Thank, thank you, Nick. You, Nick. Great editing job. Very nice. Great flow. Um, thank you, Evan, so much for coming out. Always thanks a pleasure. Camaraderie between our clubs is kind of second to none. It is. I agree. Um, you know, I was kind of, when I, we weren't playing with you, I was a little disappointed. But, you know, you got to play with other yeah. schools, too. And this you guys play with next round? Uh, next round, we're playing with um, Penn State. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I played Penn with State. one of their singles guys. They're nice. Yeah. Very good guys. Uh, thank you to you. Yeah. For coming out. No problem. Thank you um, for having me. Any thank yous you want to give? Uh, yeah. Just want to give a thank you uh, to Ledgestone for sponsoring Illinois State. Um, I want to give a thank you to Discraft Underground, actually, for sponsoring me personally. Um, and thank you for you guys for having me out for this commentary. We really appreciate you having you out here today. Little head-to-head. -head. Love it. Um, last thank you, TriFox Disc Golf. Use code DaltonH10 at their store for 10% off. Very nice family. Schick family does a lot of good deeds for the disc golf world. So... Uh, we'll have round four coverage, with won't, which won't be with you, unfortunately. We'll be with UW Platteville. But, um, yeah, go watch that. Uh, thank you for watching. Go like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.